Courage deserves this and more. And trust me, this is the beginning of it all. Because if courage does not listen to the voice of reasoning and make a U-turn at this point, a lot more is coming. In fact, this is the beginning of it all. I just feel like because courage is always bringing out money, claiming that he's rich, he's a billionaire, and all the rest of them, I feel like his parents in the, in the spirit world are actually trying to Teach him a lesson right now. Like, take away that money. Let him feel that it's not everything that money can solve. Because Courage already went to the village while they were having discussion with the uncle and the kindred men, you know, saying that he has money and all the rest of them. He cannot allow anybody to talk down on him. He cannot allow anybody to do this or do that to him because he's a billionaire and he has all the money. And I'm sure this is the reason why, you know, the spirit being wants to actually teach him a lesson. Like, okay, you have money. Let's take part of this money and see how you will feel at this point. Because how do you explain that they don't even know the source of the fire? They don't even know where it's coming from and what led to it. And then this guy is not even reasoning to the fact that this could be as a result of, you know, the dream that he had based on where the mother was telling him that if he doesn't do right by them, she said a lot of things that will happen to him if he doesn't do right by his parents and all the rest of them. And what did he do? The next day he went to his uncle's house to make noise and that was it. Now, owing to the fact that, you know, Andy has actually told him or rather linked what happened to his warehouse to, you know, his parents and his parents' um, barrier and all the rest of them. Will he have sense to go back to the uncle and apologize and ask how he would do things right before things get out of hand? Or will he just go back to the uncle and say, eh, you better warn your sister. I don't know what he, she wants from me. I cannot be intimidated. You know, the blah, 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 blah that he's always seeing. Like, eh, to whom much is given, to whom head is given, sense is expected. So whom this brain, who, whoever that has brain in this car, sense is expected. But then to him, he doesn't have any of it. I'm sure he will go back to his uncle now and make all the noise in the world, you know, and try to apportion blame because this is one of the things that courage knows how to do. He knows how to apportion blame. He doesn't know how to take responsibility. He's always looking for who to blame for one thing or the other without actually saying, how can I get this thing right? How can I change this narrative and all the rest of them? No, he wants this, like that guy, eh? That guy is so, so, so annoying. So, guys, what do you think he will do at this point? Will he actually take on this advice and rush down to the uncle, look for how to solve this problem so that he can get his life back? Or will he go back to his uncle to say, oh, you better tell your sister. Since your sister left, he has been doing this, she has been doing that to me. Warn her, she should stop doing that or she should stop doing that to me. Guys, what do you think that courage, the courageous billion, we do at this point? Aside that, guys, do you all notice that the only friend that came to courage rescue, you know, when this happened to courage, is Andy. Where is the dam that is always foiling things, always, you know, um, massaging his ego and all the rest of them, always telling him to do things in any way because he has the money and money can do all things for him. Where is he? This is to tell you that your good friends, someone that is your good friend will always be there for you at the point of your need. In this series, I just feel like, you know, there is something that Dan has against courage. Nobody is going to tell me anything because why is he not here? Why is he not here? Why? Why is Don, Dan not present at the point where courage needs him most? Why is he not here to say, okay, look for, go and arrest your mother in the spirit being she, she's the one doing all this. Why is he not there to console him and all the rest of them? Because your true friends can only show themselves in times of your need. Guys, do you think that Dan has any motive? Like there is something that, you know, Corey do to him that he wants to get back to him. What do you think about Dan's attitude and all the advice that Dan has been giving to Courage? Do you think there is more to this? 
seriously i pray he listens right now and go and do things right for the first time in his life the only reason why i hope he does the right thing now is because of mona mona on the other part is just getting me so pissed because you travel down to the village and your kindred your husband's kindred does not even recognize your place in courage life they don't even know you and you're not ready to take a walk out of this marriage i feel like at this point like i said in one of my videos whatever that affects courage is definitely going to affect mona because in the institution of marriage these two are now one so what affects the other one will get across to the other one and that is the truth and trust me mona will not be spared in whatever that is coming for courage since he has decided not to listen to anybody to walk out of this marriage the thing that you know gets me all pained is the fact that the red flags were there mona had the you know the the choice to walk away even on the day of her wedding there was it it was just staring at her and all that and Muna decided to continue with the marriage even when he had the truth that courage has no intention of getting married to her traditionally so that she can be recognized as the wife of courage Muna still continued with the marriage with all the whole thing that courage has been saying to Muna because of course his master Dan has been telling him how to handle mona how to treat a woman in marriage and of course him being a good student has actually been learning a lot and that's why he has been talking to mona the way he has been talking to her but mona has refused to walk away could this be love is this really love should this be what love is all about does love make you not to reason does love make you to swallow everything that comes your way what do i even know please guys so guys, what do you think? Do you think that Mona should take a walk at this point? Or she should be all that supportive wife that she has always been and stand by her husband at this point? Because whatever that is going to hit courage will definitely get across to Mona. This is not negotiable at all. What do you have to say, guys? As always, I expect your opinion in the comment section. Please do watch the video to the end. Please do share this video to your loved ones and also drop your amazing analysis as I will see you all in my next one. Bye.